हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल पी सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन सिविल इन सॉइल मैकेनिक्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल स्ट्रेस द इफेक्ट टू स्ट्रेस इन द पोर वाटर प्रेशर फॉर दिस सॉल्व सिंपल एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम्स इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट दिस अननोन पैरामीटर्स सो वी आर गिवन विद द सॉइल सिंपल ऑफ टू लेयर्स वी सी हियर वन इज क्ले हियर with a unit weight of 16 weight of 16 kN per cubic meter in the other clay is with 18 kN per cubic meter is the unit weight of the soil simp of these clays and they have a two depth of 2 meter and 3 meter and there is a load of 30 kN per square meter acting on this soil sample maybe is a live load so we have to find out the total stress at each point or we draw it here for example we write it here so this is the 1.11 This is two two, and this is three three. So we have to draw the shear, the total stress, the effective stress, and the pore water pressure at these points. And also we should keep in mind that the water table is at the point two two. So the water pressure will only be here at this point, or below the two two. So let's start with the one one. So we will start with section one one here, and we will find out each. stresses in detail so the first is the total stress and then we will find the pore water pressure and then the effecto stress so the total stress is represented by sigma and is equal to the at one point you see here at 1 1 there is no other load acting on this sal simple except the live load here 30 so this will be directly equal to the sigma a equal to the q which is live load and it will be equal to the 30 kN per square meter because we don't see any other kind of load acting on the soil sample at 1 1 and how we find out the pore water pressure now the pore water pressure represented by mu and it is equal to the zero because the water table is acting below the 2 to point there is no water here pore pressure develop at this point so that's why it's equal to zero and the effective stress represented by sigma prime a equal will be equal to the total stress minus pore water pressure total stress is 30 minus pore water pressure is 0 so we got 30 kN per square meter is the is the effective stress at point 11 now how to find out the these stresses at point 22 so we will draw here point 22 point 22 means at this to at this point we have to find out these stresses so we will start with again with the total stress with the total stress at point 22 will be equal to the the stress equal to point 11 and then adding the stress from this clay so at point 11 the total stress was 30 plus the stress due to the clay so due to the clay there is a stress of we have to multiply the unit weight of this clay and with the depth on which along which it is acting so the unit weight is 16 multiplying with the depth is 2 here 2 meter so when we do this we will get the total stress of the soil sample at the point 2 which comes out to be 62 kN per square meter the pore water pressure at point 22 is again equal to 0 because the water table is acting below this point 22 not above and the effective stress similarly will be equal to the total stress minus pore water pressure and total stress is 62 minus 0 because pore water pressure is 0 so we will get 62 kN per square meter is also the effective stress at point 22 how we will go with point 33 so with point 33 it's a bit critical why because there is a water table here involved So at point three three we have to find out first the total stress. The total stress will be equal to the point two two stress, which was sixty two, which was the stress acting at this point, sixty two plus the stress due to this clay, and this clay stress we can find out by multiplying the unit weight eighteen, multiplying the depth which is three meter in the similar way like how we did before. So in this way we can find out the total stress which is equal to the if you multiply this value, we will get one sixteen value here. 116 kN per square meter is the total stress acting at point 33 now the pore water pressure will be there because the water table is there you see here the water table and due to this there will be a water stress or pore water stress 
and our pore water pressure and this we can find out by multiplying the unit weight of the water multiplying with the depth the depth is our height is 3 meter and the uh, unit weight of water is 9.81 keep in mind that the unit weight of water is constant you should keep uh, learn this by heart so by multiplying with 3 we get the unit or uh, the pore water pressure of 29.43 kilonewton per square meter now the effective stress is 0.33 is equal to the total stress minus pore minus pore water pressure and the effective stress will be equal to the total stress is 116 minus pore water pressure is 29.43 so if we subtract this value we come out with the 86.57 or 86.57 kilonewton per square meter so this is the total this is the effect to stress at point 33 now we will draw a reference line and we will draw these diagrams for example this one we draw for total stress here is the poor water pressure and then the effect of stress at these points we will draw the reference lines like in this way and here we will have different points for example this is one one point you see here this one one here is one one here is one one and then two two and then we have three three points so we have to draw the the stresses at these points respectively so starting with the stress here here with the stress total stress at one one so one one we know that the total stress at one one is 13 so we will bring this line up to 30 kilonewton per square meter and then at two two you should know that the total stress at two two we find out to be 62 so we will draw a reference line from 0 to 62 and it will bring the line to up to this like in this way so now here the total stress is 62 and then at 3 3 point you see here at 3 3 point at 3 3 point we found out the total stress of 116 so we will bring this line to 116 simply from 0 up to 116 kilonewton per square meter is the stress acting at this point so you just have to draw the lines now with the pore water pressure it's important to know because at one one point you see at one point the pore stress is zero also at two two it is zero so at one one it is zero at two two it is zero but at three three point we see the pore water pressure of 29.43 so we'll bring this line and connect from point two two so it is 29.43 kilonewton per square meter is the total pore water pressure acting at point three three now the third one is the effective stress the effective stress at different points are also known to us we just have to know the values we found out so at point one one it is 30 it is 30 here point two two it is again 62 like the same is total stress 62 and at third point it is 86.5 so once we will draw it up to 86.57 kilonewton per square meter so these are the difference you see here these are the different stresses values at each point and this is the pore water pressure and then we have effective stress changing along the depth of the soil sample so hope you guys understand how to draw these different kind of stresses for a soil sample if you know the uh, unit weight of the soil and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos and also i have given the link of a new channel in this description please go there like comment the videos and subscribe to my new channel i will be thank you have a nice day ahead